Some 32.4 million Ghana CDs was allocated to the Savannah Accelerator Development Authority to implement an afforestation project in the northern region. Though the money has been sent, spent, Joy News checks as part of our revelations on SADA indicates there is nothing to show for it. Rather, the supposed afforestation zone has been depleted after the natural vegetation cover was destroyed to make way for the project. Manasseh Azuri Awune spent weeks touring the project site and filed this report. This is the Sada Afforestation site near Pandai Senior High School in the northern region. Workers who took part in the tree planting project here are disappointed at the outcome. They've not been paid for seven out of the 16 months they worked. But that's not all. The trees they planted are dying before their eyes. The story of Sada's afforestation project is worse in other locations. At the site near Bar Barracks in Tamale, about 70% of the trees had died at the time Joy News visited the site. At the Kamina Barracks afforestation site also in Tamale, not even a single tree planted survived. The situation in the Upper East region is worse. This is the Sada afforestation site at Boku Tampielum in the Boku Central Municipality of the Upper East region. In most of the sites we visited, we realized that there was no source of water. But just behind me is a dam. But all the trees here are dead. At the site near Zebila, also in the Upper East region, we realized a lot of the trees had died. The Sada Afforestation contract was awarded to a construction company, ACI Construction Limited. The Upper East Regional Coordinator of ACI, Raymond Agwanto, took the Joy News team round the Winkogo Afforestation site near Bolgatanga in January this year. He said the trees were withering because all workers had been laid off. This place we planted about uh, 4,500 trees. 4,500. Yes. It doesn't look like it's a good story here. What was the problem? Basically, you could see that it's recently that the animals came in, you know, top of the ceilings. But uh, we laid the workers off from 1st October. Sada's afforestation contract with ACI Construction expired in June 2013. Documents secured by Joy News indicate that the company wrote requesting a renewal of the contract, but Sada declined. As a result, ACI Construction wrote to all personnel at the afforestation sites to vacate. This has since left the trees at the mercy of the weather and animals. Another reason given by the workers is the late planting of the trees. They said most of the trees were planted during the dry season. <laughs> So, is the Sada Afforestation project a success story? We have been around, you see how hot the sun is. If the trees go one month, two months without water, it's a different story. And as you can see, the whole place is getting brown. When the animals see anything green, they're going to graze on it. So, if there's no one to drive away the animals, there's no one to protect fire from getting onto the plantation, there's no one to water. It can be a success story. But the immediate past CEO of Sada, Gilbert Sedu Idi, does not think so. For him, whether the tree survived or not is not the most important issue here. You see, the focus was plant trees create employment. So number one is, has employment been created? Number two, have the trees been planted? These are the two focal issues that we we'll use to be able to determine the achievement or otherwise. Joy News also discovered that the project has left the vegetation cover of the afforestation size worse than their surroundings. The natural vegetation was destroyed before the trees were planted. The inability of the trees to survive has therefore left the size worse than their surroundings. At Blema in the Sola Tuna Kalba district of the Upper West region, we discovered that trees in the forest were felled and some bent in order to make way for the afforestation project. The trees destroyed included economic trees such as Shena trees, which are considered the cocoa of northern Ghana. If 
they, they show us the sites before the clearing. We tell them not to clear. But in some places, before you even get to the land they have for you, they are cleared. It. But workers at the project site say they were forced to cut down the trees against their will. They say the cost of clearing the land before the beginning of the program was borne by ACI construction, so they could not have cleared the land before the company came in. A former Pro Vice Chancellor of the University for Development Studies, Professor David Miller was one of those who first drafted the SADA policy. He condemns the method of destroying natural vegetation in order to plant trees. I was the project director for Savannah Resource Management Project, a World Bank project. That was in Tamalede. We did everything about tree planting. We realized that there were more problems with tree planting than the natural vegetation. So we went to natural regeneration where you try to manage the natural vegetation in terms of pruning and doing all the cultural practices. Within that, you can now integrate tree planting so that the entire tree population is part of the project. We also discovered that some parts of the Sada zone do not need a forestation project because of their thick forest cover. These are the areas where forests had to be cleared before the planting of trees. I can say I was given a job to execute and the job was supposed to be from A to Z. I couldn't have left some, out some. Oh yes, but you could have told them that you asked me to plant trees, there are already trees here. It doesn't make sense to clear trees and plant trees. <laughs> you know something. That is how our interview ended. He would not speak further, but former Sada CEO, Gilbert Sedu Idi, justifies the decision to plant trees in areas we do not need the afforestation project. SADA covers five regions. Now when you come out with an activity and some regions are completely left out, that in itself has got its own ramifications. And let me give you a solution. Mm -hmm. For instance, you say, uh, for let's say Techiman, mm -hmm. you have a lot of trees. Bongo is a very uh, a desert area. The desertification is just taking over that place. So we are taking tree planting to Bongo. But with this same amount of money, instead of undertaking a tree planting project in your area, let's give you something else because you don't need it. Would that not yeah. have solved the problem? If that would have complicated it. Joy News has learned that Sada has contracted UDS to count the trees and report on the survival rate. It is not clear what percentage they will put out. But what is clear is that the 32.4 million Ghana cities has worsened the vegetation cover of most of the Sada afforestation project locations. For Joy News, Manase Azore Arene reporting.